now, but shed a lot of light on his days in Golden State to our good friend Chris Haynes of Yahoo. He squashed the rumor that his incident on the bench last season with Draymond Green was a factor in him leaving, saying, quote, I'm tired of talking about that bleep. We're grown men. He added that his now former Warriors teammates actually congratulated him when he went to the Nets. He also said it was not the Warriors' fault that he ruptured his Achilles in the finals, like many people have speculated since he was coming off a calf strain. KD was asked if he blames the Warriors and said, hell no. How can you blame the Warriors? Hell no. I heard the Warriors pressured me into getting back. Nobody never said a word to me during rehab as I was coming back. It was only me and director of sports medicine and performance Rick Celebrini working out every day. Right when the series started, I targeted game five. Hell no. It just happened. It's basketball. Bleep happens. Nobody was responsible for it. It was just the game. We just need to move on from that bleep because I'm going to be back playing. Mm. Shannon, are you buying this? Not completely. Um, Skippy, uh, let's start. Take the first the first thing he said first mm -hmm. that Jenny read about he the Draymond situation mm -hmm. and says basketball. They're men. Kevin Durant, you know, man to man, another man don't call another man the B word. Especially with we teammates. Now, I don't know. I think he grew up in Maryland. So he knows what that's Just outside of D.C. Yeah, yeah. Silver Springs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think, I think that's called C.
educated guess, there had to be some slight damage to the Achilles right. that made it far more. There was no thank you very much. There was no I'm going to miss you guys. He there, just up and there, left. There, there was no ad in the paper like most uh, like, no, like, no. like most guys take out a full page ad. Right. I think Russ took out one. Uh, uh, Kawhi says, well, I don't have social media, mm -hmm. so I just want to take the time now. Right. Thank Toronto and their staff and right. the fans for doing it. And, and I have no problem with LeBron with the decision. Everybody got so upset. The only thing he missed stepped on at, from a PR standpoint was he should have just thanked the Cleveland fans right. just for all your support, all your loyalty, my home area. I love what you guys did for me. Right. But he was so at odds, if not at war with the owner, yeah, yeah. That, that he couldn't swallow that enough sure. to, to, to step back and say, wait a second, I got to at least pay my respects to the fans Correct. from my home area. That, that was the... no problem with how he did it but in this case kevin said zero to, to anybody he just up and left did it have anything to do with draymond well you and i believe with all our hearts and souls it had to have something to do that but that was the the beginning of the end uh, that, skip i believe right now he's saying all the right things i mean what was he supposed to you know you know i got all my ex-teammates are just a phone call away what you expect them to change their numbers i mean what what how do you expect him to behave Oh, man, they, man, they're so happy for me. They're like, man, I'm glad I broke this thing up and ruined the chance for us to dominate for another couple of years because you and I both know, Skip, Kevin Durant doesn't get hurt or he stays in Golden State. We believe they're going to be champ for the foreseeable sure. future mm -hmm. because they got three, and it seems everybody else has two. That is correct. So yep. what's he supposed to say? And I, I think the thing is, Skip, he's just like, look, they didn't pressure me. I, as you read, I didn't hear anything. You, you, hear, all, you hear everything. Yeah. I mean, you you hear everything. And if you didn't hear it, guess what, Skip? You got homeboys and family members that did hear it, and they bring information back to you. Because a lot of times, like I said, when you play in the game, Skip, you can't get all the information. You're at practice. Mm. Now, we didn't have social media, like uh, obviously, like they have it now, Skip. But my homeboys would hear things. Mm. Yeah. Uh, my sister would hear things. And like, well, did you hear this? Did you hear that? Yeah, I got it. I didn't know. I didn't hear that. Oh, really? Okay. But now... Hey, With 24 hour news cycle? They know. You, you know how Kevin's built. If anyone from the media dares to walk up and say, Kevin, it's a nice day outside. No, it's a little chilly outside for me. <laughs> it's, he's always going to take issue with anything the media says. And to me, I think he decided he's just done with Golden State. Mm -hmm. And so his MO in this interview was I'm washing my hands of all that. Yeah. I'm going to clean that slate. I'm going on to the Nets. Now we're back to, why did he choose the Nets? I want to know more. Why didn't he choose the Knicks? Why couldn't he talk Kyrie into saying, let's just bo both go to the Knicks? As I told you, I think he missed the biggest boat of his career turning the Knicks around. Right. He seemed to defer to Kyrie's wishes. Kyrie wants to go to the Nets. Why? I don't know. Because it's more the team that he grew up loving in, when they were the Jersey Nets. Right. I don't know. So does Kevin just follow Kyrie wherever he goes? Because no. it felt like, Kyrie texted him on the morning of June 30th and said, hey, let's go to the Nets. Okay. <laughs> Deal. Uh, stop it. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know about that, Skip. I, it's hard for me to believe a decision of this magnitude. You spend so little time, so little thought into it, put, put, it, uh, put such little thought into making a decision of this magnitude. Mm. It's just hard for me to believe. But, he, I mean, Skip, I mean, he said the right thing. I think at the end of the day, Kevin really wants to be like, and sometimes, you know, he, he feels people – misconstrue what he says or, or how he says it. Uh, but when you hop on social media and you attack people that are questioning that says, well, you, you, you bring chased and you hopped on a bandwagon, mm. you know, that rub, you know, and he, I mm. think he wants, deep down, he wants to be liked. Well, the NBA got a great break for next year because the best player on the planet can't play. It's really going to affect things. It's over for LeBron, right? Yeah, sorry, you say Shannon. That, you, Skip, I thought you were making some really good points. Yep. I was right. I was like, you know what, Skip? Really, I I'm mean, hot. Yeah, yeah. Scott, I was like, Skip, roll. No, 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 no. You had to end on because that. Because before that, you had like, you had struck, struck out. Yeah. You had taken the golden sombrero. Oh, we got to go to break, yeah. Shannon. I can't even give you time to respond. I'm really, I'm sorry. It's just going to have to well, leave it on that, on that note.